One of the things to realize is just, I, I think we're still coming to terms with what a big thing sport is and can be. Um, you know, I remember when I was uh, prime minister a few years back and I went to some very remote part of Japan on a, on a visit, right? And I go into a sort of, there was about 40, 14, 15 year old kids and I go into a classroom and the teacher says, this is the prime minister of the UK. There's Japanese kids sitting there. <laughs> anyway, I, I, don't know what, I don't know what the Japanese is for who the hell is this, but that is basically <laughs> what they're doing, right? So I sort of say, Britain. Is a, hmm. London, little flicker. I say, Beckham. So, ah! <laughs> you know, so you, you, have a, you have a reach in sport that is, that is uh, uh, amazing. And I, I just make two points. I think and this is what comes directly to this, what can corporates and civic society do? I mean, I learned a lot of things in my time as uh, Prime Minister. I learned about the power of government. I also learned about the limits of government. And I think that government can often do a lot more by setting a framework and then letting the civic society, the voluntary sector, the private sector come together a lot more creatively and work out ways of, particularly in relation to sport, making the, the most use of sport. And the second thing is, is this, that, and this is why I think Beyond Sport itself is very important. I mean, I just, um, you know, I have a small uh, foundation up in the northeast which, uh, uh, of England which, which tries to, to um, recruit and train volunteers to be coaches and officials for grassroots sport, particularly for disadvantaged kids. But what I discovered, I mean, even, you know, thinking I would have a certain amount of uh, reach and influence and so on. There are so many doors that remain locked to organizations trying to start. There's so much hassle finding a way through it that one thing I think is really necessary is to try and access the power of organizations that have, have done it, of corporates that have real strength and reach, of the stars that can make such a big difference and try and organize it better so that many of these grassroots sports organizations that in, in the little sign that went up there, could scale up if they got a bit of help. I think that's the big challenge that we've got now, because I think the work that's being done is amazing, but just from my own personal experience doing this sports foundation, it, it's, I mean, it's tough to make it all work. And I think with, with a little bit of help that we could get if we put the right networks together, we could multiply hugely the benefit that sport is creating in the grassroots in a big way. I really think that.